Turning overseas now to the war in Gaza, Israel claims Hamas used the Al Shifa hospital as a military command center and says this video of a tunnel underneath it is proof. The reports this morning, and rather reports this morning, say Israeli troops are surrounding another hospital in Gaza where Hamas says 700 people are sheltering. Our Lilia Luciano joins us now to discuss the efforts to protect the most vulnerable people in the region. Um, Lilia, it is good to see you. Um, what do we know, Lilia, first off, about the condition of these babies that were evacuated from Al Shifa Hospital? They had the, the, the equipment to move them safely into Egypt, but what do we know about how they're doing? Hi, Anne Marie, uh, good morning. It's good to hear you too. Uh, we have been reporting on just the the transit of these babies that had to be evacuated out of Al Shifa. Of course, we know that the IDF sees that hospital uh, saying, claiming that it was a Hamas command center, therefore everybody needed to evacuate. We're talking not just about hundreds of patient staff, but thousands of people who were sheltered there, refugees who had been sheltered there. And as you mentioned, uh, yesterday the IDF released images of this tunnel that is 33 feet deep, uh, about 180 feet uh, long, as they described it. But among those evacuated are these babies, premature uh, and newborn babies, as you mentioned. According to one of the doctors who was receiving the babies that survived out of Al-Shifa, of those evacuees, he said, there had been 39 babies that only 31 of them survived in their care. This was a hospital that was in southern Gaza. They treated them there. They had been transported the ba transporting the babies all crammed into small incubators, sometimes four or five babies in one incubator. Then uh, after they were treated in this hospital, we know now that they have made it successfully across the Rafah crossing and into Egypt where they will be treated, given more specialized treatment for their survival. Uh, the doctor that we heard from who our colleague in Gaza spoke with and interviewed was saying that the families are, were going to be brought into that hospital and go with them. And of course, some of the families of the babies that did not make it were also going to be uh, advised to come and uh, identify them. Um, let me ask you about the other news that we're hearing about another hospital now in northern Gaza that's uh, surrounded, that there is heavy fighting taking place. What do we know about that? We know that there has been artillery fire. We know that there are Israeli tanks that have surrounded this hospital. This is the only hospital that was still somewhat functional in northern Gaza that is, you know, and as uh, many of our colleagues have been reporting now for weeks, uh, was where the invasion started, where the evacuation started. But this hospital, uh, the staff that was there was receiving still some patients. As of right now, there are no hospitals in northern Gaza that can receive patients. And of course, not every Palestinian was able to evacuate uh, to southern Gaza. Of course, in southern Gaza, there have also been strikes. There are also Hamas targets. Uh, we have just heard reports throughout the weekend of a school that was functioning as a shelter, uh, a school that was run by the UN where dozens of people were killed. That included women and children. And so the fight, the, the war rages on in multiple directions. And as hundreds of thousands of Palestinians have moved south to southern Gaza because of the evacuations, because of the artillery, because of the airstrikes and the rest uh, in the northern part of the territory, now many of them are just asking, where are we going to go since the operations continue in the southern part of the territory? All right, Lilia, thank you very much.